Oh, oh no. Ronan. Hardline, baby. This ain't a super bowl, listen to me, Raiders. <laughs> Oh, Matthew. Mid sit, like it. Oh, that's a pull. Go, on, Charlie! Right, Teo, oh, your biggest oh, thing of the day, yeah. right? Back to you there. They've Let's all come to see out. you right now, and you've got to go over there Burn and sign down. stuff. Burn it down. Yeah, no one cares. Oh. <laughs> Hello, guys. Welcome back to the channel. Now, today is super exciting because we've come to Red Bull Hardline. So, I guess first thing is first, and check out the track. Oi, oi. Talk us through the suits of this weekend, then. Hardline, baby. The suits. <laughs> the suits. This ain't a Super Bowl, listen to me Raiders. <laughs> right, here we are then. We've just arrived and the first feature we're going to look at is the old 90 footer. Insane. So first rider we're going to see. Charlie, I think. Yeah, boy. Ronan. Yo. See? Okay. Oh, that's a pull. Go on the dog. So we're working our way to the top. Land Rovers don't let us all the way to the top, so we're trying our luck. And actually, for reference, where we are right now is the old Cannon Sender, which was the big step down prior to going to the uh, big booter. You did that, wouldn't you? No chance, mate. <laughs> anyway, let's uh, carry on. Probably see the other feature up here and then hopefully get to the start. Working our way up to the uh, famous drop that actually Josh Lowe crashed on. Sorry, Josh. And it's actually insane to think that Johnny Walker came down here on a motorbike because this to me looks so sketchy. This was the old track, as you can see, come in here off that and then that tight right. Should be kind of cool to see what differences they've made this year. Right, here's the old slate and then that there. All the way out there is the top. Uh, no, right, here we are then, at the start. This is what the riders are going to face with later on this afternoon for seeding and for race run. Look at that for a view yeah, yeah, before yeah. they drop in for that madness. Oh boy. Oh no. The riders have literally left the start gate. The first thing they're greeted with 
quite a boggy section before they drop down into a number of rocks. So many horrible rocks to catch them. Even from the start here, all of this is new. It's all, um, all rebuilt, loads of rocks to give the riders pungies, which isn't what you need prior to jumping into that stuff. So they've really got to think about tire pressure as far as they want the grip. At the same time, they don't want to go too low because they've got the big features down the bottom to contend with. Pick it up on any POV. So many sharp, jagged rocks. It's certainly not a bike park by any means. It really makes quite a difference when this is dry. If this is wet, all of this, which would be quite washy, and you can see a number of riders sort of slid into that rut. So it really does make a difference with this weather, with the wind getting on it to dry it out. However, you don't want too much wind because you definitely don't want any wind for those big jumps. Riders have got themselves down all that gnarly stuff up there, which is really slick. And then they're joined by this thing. You either go to the left, which is a horrible drop there, or you can almost go to the right and almost gap across quite flat but you don't want to wear your arms out just yet because there's some big hits coming up. So this was the track they used last year. As you can see, shoot on down there. There's a nice berm there to go right. This year, they're going straight down there onto the left-hand side. This is where, for this year, the course changes. So last year and previous years, we've hit a berm. Well, we, they, they've hit a berm, gone over the top, and then it goes to the sort of off-camber slab. This year, they're going left down the hillside and greeted with some more features, which we're going to have a look at right now. Yeah, boy. Go on, Joshy boy. Interesting. So you've got a smoother line on the left and then a bit more juggedy one on the right. Whoa. 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 So we just took the right option. Yo. Go on, Matthew. Smoothest oh. <laughs> line. Let's pay. Nice. Mad to see the different line options for the first time seeing it. So some of the riders are sticking far left, nice and smooth, but obviously not as fast. Fastest is probably going over the rocks in the middle. However, it's very much more of a risk, more punches, big old track, loads of problems. Go on, get it. Go on, Brad. Yeah, boy. Yep, yeah, boy! Oh, he's flying! Yes, lad! Yeah, yeah boy! Sammy. Right, here we are then. Here is the new section, and it does not disappoint from a punter's point of view. That is steep and blimmin' gnarly. Yeah! Can, can he tears it? So this new section of track is actually insane. You can see why the guys really struggled when it was wet. Super slick. And then they've got that step down gap down there with a little berm to catch them. Really, really steep. And it probably doesn't show on the camera how gnarly that is. Go on, boy. So we've got a bit of a wait before the riders drop in. This is the feature towards the top, one of the new features. A lot steeper than it probably shows on camera. And then you're greeted with a step down. It's probably a 15 foot step down. However, you're landing straight on the brakes and there's a little catch burn down there. Super, super steep, way steeper than it looks on camera. So riders are finally setting off. Here's seeding runs. 
So the next section of track after the steep section is this blind drop going in and from here you can almost see the right and what would have been the left to take you to the canyon. They've now changed that and they're now going back to the original older track with the horrible blind step down. Go on Matthew. Mid sit, like it. Go on, Joshy boy. Woo! Go on, Bryce. Go on, John, man. Go on, John, boy. Go on, boy. Get it. Track has gone through all the gnarly stuff at the top and then it, we're greeted with the man-made big jumps, the first one being at this on-off. Here is the gap, this is the off, a lot bigger than it probably looks on camera. Josh reckons he, he's put his eyebrows on it that he's going to hit it by next year. They're gone. <laughs> Hardest bit of the day, isn't it? Hardest bit of the day. Right, next thing is the old road jump. Hopefully we'll come and see it later on, but until then, here's a side view. So after the road jump, the riders have got a sharp burn that fires them into this section. And this section is very hard towards the end of the run. There's loads of line choices, rocks, and a bit of a horrible compression off this drop right here. The last cannon into the final finish straight. You've got a big cannon into the field, little skipper, and then the big finale booter, which is about 60 foot, I believe. Go on, Charlie! Go on, Tay! Oh. That's right, yeah, exactly. Two riders left on track for today for seeding. Bernard is next. Tarni, that's huge, right? That's incredible. I think a lot of people were saying that maybe that helmet would have given him a little bit of pressure, but I think it's done the opposite. Thriving on the... The energy through the roof tomorrow is... Set right, Teo, oh, your biggest oh, thing oh, of the yeah. day, right? Thank you off. there. They've Let's all come to see to you anything. right now, and you've got to go over there Bernard and sign Dan, stuff. Bernard Curry. Yeah, no one cares. <laughs> Right. Sign shirt ready. Not the shovel. Sign in there, stuff. He wants the shovel. Yeah. Well, there we go. That was day one here at Hardline for a bit of a track walk and qualifying or seeding, whatever it is. Hopefully, you guys have enjoyed today's video. If you have, be great. If you give it a thumbs up, be sick if you subscribe. Till next one, see you in a bit. Oi, oi.